Hey, this is Bruce Boudreaux, and you're listening to Empty Betters with Nick Mack and Harrison. But listen, what about um, something like, uh, hey, listen, we're the Empty Betters, and you want to lose your money, you bet on us. Everybody and welcome back to episode 139 of Empty Betters. I'm your host, Harrison Schultz, and I'm going to toss it across the table this time to my co-host, my good friend, Nick Manella. How are we doing? Let's go, baby. Little, uh, little sleepy today. I will put it that way to, to be light about it. But uh, yeah, we had a fun time at the hockey game last night, to say the least. Yeah, in case you haven't known uh, or follow us on social, we were at the Caps season opener against the Bruins last night. They ended up dropping the game. We ended up losing some money. Mac was not happy about the TikTok and reel that we put out about him. But uh, yeah, we we're doing this right before we're doing the event at Don't Know Tavern, so uh, the vibes are good. And now I'm going to toss it across the other side of the table to my co-host that's not in Wisconsin today, Mac Vogel. What's going on? <laughs> What's up, boys? That it's good crisp. to be here. Um, just cracked a natty bow because we're in Bmore, and uh, yeah, I'm not not too pleased about the outcome last night, but it's okay. We had a good time. Uh, gonna have another good fun time tonight. Hope to see a lot of you there. Hopefully, you're listening to this and you're like, "Oh, I was there." Um, and yeah, hopefully the Caps get a get in the win column tonight too. Yeah, uh, Caps playing the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight as we're recording this and just reiterating our, we're like, what, an hour away from leaving for Don't Know Tavern to hang out with some fans, bet on the game, get some food, drinks, all that stuff. This is probably our first episode live, in person, no Zoom, none of that bullshit. We got the big-ass, uh, what would you call this? Mixer. Sp- mixer, spaceship yeah. here. Yeah. We got the Monday Night Football headphones rocking, so yep. we're ready to go. Uh, it's yeah. good to see you guys. I love doing this. <laughs> yeah. It is good. I, I freaking miss this stuff, man. Oh, this um, is this is the best. This is like what the pod was founded on, and then yeah. obviously COVID, and then we added Mac, and now it's like Yeah, man, this is crazy. how it was meant to be done for sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But um, um First things say? first, I feel like we have to talk about the most pressing hockey news like of all time happening tonight. Don't the Arizona Coyotes have their home opener? Do they? No, they are playing the Pittsburgh Penguins at PPG. Uh, oh, okay. When is their home opener then? I think it's Soon. next week. Probably oh, when the really? next episode goes up. Gotcha. Let's see. Let's see. Um, and for those listening, next episode, we got a really good guest on, uh, especially if you're into sports betting. So you definitely want to be on the lookout for that. But, yeah, it looks like they actually have quite a few games on the road before they boo. finally play at home. Uh, oh, my God. Wow. They're still on the road a week from today. The Sun Devils are busy, so. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Holy Pri- shit. This you know. is the new Islanders. Next Saturday, they're still on the road. Yeah. I should have just looked at their schedule instead of scrolling through day by day, but I didn't think it would take this long. Yeah. All right, well, I'll get back to you on when their home opener is. So I want to start off this episode. This is probably going to be about just first week of hockey stuff, season prediction stuff that we've talked about on our social uh, media platforms and such. A lot of people asking us. All three of us have the Rangers winning the Cup. We saw what they did opening night against the Tampa Bay Lightning. They do play the Minnesota Wild in about four hours tonight in mini for their home opener. Uh, What do you guys think about the Rangers coming into this season? I know we've talked about them a bunch already. Real quick, Arizona home opener is not until Friday, October 28th. What? Yeah. Hmm. God damn. Um, Rangers, they look look good. I hate it, but they look really good. Yeah. Obviously, Igor is going to do Igor things all year long. I fully expect that. Um, you know, I mean, they, they what they lost Cop, and I think he was he played well for them when when they picked him up at the end of last season. But the, overall, they didn't really lose a whole lot. Um, it'll definitely come down to some of those depth forwards, like we were talking about last night, right, boys? With like Philip Heedle and Alexi Lafreniere and Capo Caco. If those guys can play up to their actual ceiling, then I think that team can be as dangerous as we think they can be. Yeah. Um, Because we know, right? We know Igor and we know Kreider and Zibanejad. They're all going to play. They're all going to have good seasons, I would would expect. Mika looked incredible in the first game. I thought our buddy Zach Jones looked pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he he definitely got a lot of ice time, especially for third pairing. Yeah, I think he will continue to. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. 
Um, you know, it's just it's unfortunate because, as you all know, we kind of hate the Rangers, and we were talking about this at the Caps game last night. It's game one of 82. They're chanting, Igor's batter, and they're like, yeah. fast, he sucks. Like, yeah. all, all this stuff, right? And I get it. They knocked him out of the playoffs last year, but to do this on game one, it's like, mm, let's – Calm down a little bit. Kind of cringe. Yeah, it might just be that fan base in general. I yeah. will give them credit. That place was packed, and the Yankees had game one yep. of the uh, series with – who are they playing? The Guardians. The Guardians. Yeah. So, good on New York, I guess. True. I can't believe I said that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> um, thoughts on the Caps game last night? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Well – I said it during warm-ups. They were scoring all kinds of goals during warm-ups, and that was exciting. You know, they were they were putting the puck in the net, and that was pretty awesome. They were good. They were really good during warm-ups. Um, I wish but, everyone listening could have seen you two because during warm-ups, like this team's so good. Like, yeah. look at us. They like, were. Oh they were so freaking good during warm-ups. And then, I don't know, Nick. Like, I actually can't make up my mind if I think they played really badly or if I think they played okay and just didn't win. Because like. They took they they outshot them I think like thirty five to thirty or something like that. Um, they I don't know the first period I thought they actually played pretty well like initially and the second period they played okay. I mean that's when they kind of had their their little mini comeback and like got themselves into the game scoreboard wise for a few minutes. But I don't know I didn't love like what I saw from Kemper. I feel like the the posture knock one it was yep. a it was a flashy goal and it was a cool goal but. It probably you, should have been stopped to, yeah, all, ultimately. Stop um, and, you know, it's the first game, so I'm not going to be, like, so quick to panic and be like, holy shit, we still don't have goaltending. <laughs> but, like, I really hope that we do. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, – it, I don't think it was I, – I think the way you put it is perfect. Like, you can't tell if this was just, like, a slow start or if they genuinely played bad. And yeah. I have to agree. I, they're getting a lot of hate online, which – some of – which I think is deserved based on how they played, some of which I don't think is deserved. But one of the things I was thinking about earlier is I'm just going to chalk this up as, like, everyone started slow. Yeah. Like, the refs clearly started slow. They oh, they missed yeah. a couple. They definitely like, missed a few. Like, a couple blatant ones. And I'm not saying that's why the Caps I lost. hate being that guy. I really do hate being that guy that's like, we but got the, hosed. But the trip on Ovi and the high stick yeah. on Kemper right before yeah. the hold was called, like, you have to call yeah. both there. Yeah, there was a couple – dumb things and they did they did call a few that I didn't even agree with also like yes. there was one where they I forget who but like a Caps and a Bruins guy were like like kind of wrestling each other by the bench and they like just took the Bruins guy and I was yeah. like that seems like a classic take them both type scenario but okay I just assumed they were gonna take them both yeah and I was a little bit surprised yeah refs definitely were a little weird last night but it is what it is so as we are heading into tonight's matchup against the Toronto Maple Leafs worth mentioning that the Montreal Canadiens took down the Maple Leafs in their season opener last night as of right now uh, they won four to three. Josh Anderson iced the game in like what twenty seconds left in I think regulation. It was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a good game. So both teams coming in after a loss. What are your expectations watching Caps versus Leafs tonight? And I also want to mention the over under is set at seven. The first time this season we're already seeing it. I can't believe that the over is set <laughs> so high when we're we're having a matchup between elite goaltenders <laughs> Ilya Samsonov and Chucky Lindgren. Chucky Mustache. Chucky Mustache. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited to see Lindgren play. Um, I've heard good things. People were raving about him in like the preseason and stuff. So I'm excited to see him play. I'm excited to see Samsonov in the blue in the blue sweater. I think it's gonna be funny. Um, Should we do a, a drinking game tonight? Every time he drops his stick, you have to finish your drink. Yo, oh that's a God. great, yeah. that's a great and very dangerous game to play because yeah. that number could be anywhere between two and six <laughs> in the first minute. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I don't know. I we talked about it earlier. I, I kind of agree with what you said briefly or uh, earlier. Harrison was was that it's going to be either Samsonov just absolutely clowns the Caps and like shuts them out or like stands on its head and plays amazing or it's going to be a barn burner and somebody's going to win this game like seven to five. And I can live with that. Like I, I can accept the fact that the Toronto Maple Leafs are probably a better hockey team than the Washington Capitals yeah. in a straight up, you know, game. And if Sammy shuts them down, you know, Hey, kudos to him. Right. What I don't want to have happen is a repeat of last night where it's like five to two. They're kind of just not even in the game yeah. in the third period at all, and for whatever reason, they just look flat and passes are yeah. a foot behind or a foot in front of the I guys' agree. tape. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of just, like, crisp, like, like issues. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not crisp. Yeah, not crisp. Uncrispy. Sorry. The weave drill that they were running in the neutral zone during all the power plays last night was a oh huge Oh, my God. Problem. The power play looked – that was the biggest problem yesterday. Actually, yeah. you said it during the game, Harrison. The, if they lose the game, it'll be because they went, like, fucking 0 for 5 on the power play Like you and your shit. live bets, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. 0 for 5 on the power play, 0 for 5 on the night. <laughs> He got me there. Mac was firing off yeah. everything, every second. I think at the second intermission, what he was like, "Didn't you live bet last night?" It was yeah. the secret bookie jail. <laughs> I think the only one I Get won wasn't jail. even a live bet. It was Connor McDavid to score a goal, and I only put like ten bucks on it. So and he scored three. Yeah. So let's actually talk about that for a second. So the Oilers end up taking down. Uh, help me out. Who they play? Canucks. Canucks. The Canucks. What was it? Five four, I think. Um, or six, five three. They got the empty netter, yeah. So yeah. They won by two. And Connor um, McDavid scores a hat trick on opening night, along with an assist. Seven hundred points, right? Also worth points. noting that game was three nothing Vancouver early in the second period, um, and then we were watching it. I believe Drysital got the Oilers on the board, make it three one. Yep. McDavid gets his first of the night, makes it three two with about. Five minutes left in the second, and then Darnell Nurse with a buzzer beater shorty yeah, at the end of the second period. Yeah, off um, of Dry's pass. I'll take those fantasy points. Thank you. And then honestly, <laughs> third period was all Oilers, and then uh, McDavid finally got the game winner with like not that much time left. Again, it was like no. five minutes left or something like that. Yeah, um, he looks. He doesn't miss a beat. No, it's not at all. Ridiculous. Yeah. I think he's. It's crazy to see like what he's doing and to think he's only. 26 years old like he's still got another four years in like absolute prime yeah. prime and then probably another eight years of like prime yeah <laughs> which is stupid it's a good way to put it yeah. I, I just you kind of just pray like a guy like that stays healthy because he's just so much fun to watch and stays out of the metropolitan division <laughs> yes, yeah mainly that yeah doesn't quit the oilers because um, they blow it up yeah. again didn't the leafs tweet something like two weeks ago saying that their long-term plans include Connor mcdavid I mean, uh, that would be that would be something that because would be silly. you know the rumors about Matthews and the uh, Arizona State Coyotes are actually swirling. Yeah. Uh, also, late in the off season. worth noting, Jack Campbell had 33 saves last night. So good, good for him. Good yep. start for him. He looked good. Bad. I think my favorite part of the whole game was when Darnell Nurse tied it with that shorthanded goal, and the cameraman just panned over to Bruce on the Nux bench, and he was just like, <laughs> just staring like the so like just. Staring into the souls of every one of his players, just like, what the fuck are you just doing out there? Like, literally. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys this, because this will probably drop when people actually listen to it tomorrow, uh, Friday, October 14th. We're going to have four games on slate there. Uh, we've got the Lightning versus the Jackets, the Canadians versus the Red Wings, the Rangers versus the Winnipeg Jets, and the Carolina Hurricanes versus the San Jose Sharks. Uh, I'm curious if any of those four matchups kind of pop out to you in terms of what you would take action on. Yeah, Brent Burns to score a goal against the Sharks. Book it. It's Honestly, wait, I love I, that. Didn't even click in my brain. That I love like revenge tour. Yeah. Uh, props. No, I'm serious. I think I think that's definitely gonna happen. Yeah. Sharks suck that. too. Like they're any, so anyone, bad. Anyone can score a goal yeah. against them. What do you guys think of the Wings against the Canes? I know you've been a big Red Wings guy all year. Wings They're, against the Habs, you said? Or you Habs, mean? I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, that one, I mean, I I would like to say the Wings are going to win that one. Who do the Wings have? Um, they got to be playing to, today, too, right? Cause I, I don't, I don't, think, don't think so. I don't no. think they've gotten started yet, have they? No, that'll they be have. their home opener. Yeah. And the, the Habs don't play tonight either, I don't believe. So that'll be... A There's, fresh matchup. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I'll take the wings in that one. I don't know what the line's going to be at, but I would like to say they're going to win that one, especially since the Habs at least got one win so far. They're like, you yeah. know. We got the wings at minus 170, over-under is set at six. Uh, wings puck line is at plus 165. I don't hate that. I like wings puck line. I yeah. think that's, that's a great nice. bet, especially if Huso's going. I like that against if Allen. If it's Huso against Allen or uh, even Montembo, that'd be yeah. even better probably. And I would also point this one out, the Jets versus the Rangers. I do not believe the Jets are playing the day we're recording this. Uh, can confirm they are not. The Rangers play the Wild, and they're starting Igor tonight against Minnesota. So it sounds like Halak will be starting for the Rangers when you're listening to this uh, could be a against Jets the dub. Jets. Yeah, I could see a Jets dub. Right now they're listed. It's basically a pick em. Um okay. So I don't hate that either. But, yeah. 
I like that. I love um, Saturday. The Sabres are home against the Panthers. I love the Sabres in that matchup. It's a 1 p.m. game that just screams like something Florida. Day game. Would, I was actually ruin. thinking about the Sabres tonight, maybe. Like, it's in Buffalo. They've got Ottawa. Ottawa's supposed to be a good team, sort of, this year. Better, at least, than they were. Now, I think they'll be a better team than the Sabres this year, but I don't know. Something about, something about tonight. I, I was debating Sabres. I've got the over in that game at six, so I think that's a good bet. Really looking forward to that. Uh, somehow snagged it before it went to six and a half. Shout out to our buddy, the Daily Over. He was actually DMing us last night at like four p.m. when we were getting margaritas before the game. <laughs> it was like, hey, dude, like this game tomorrow, you better hop on it before the line changes. I was like, I got you, man. So, uh, shout out to him for definitely pointing that out. How about those margaritas, by the way? Those Holy were shit. fantastic. So can you explain, because you're, you, well, you two especially, you guys have both worked in, like, the bar restaurant industry. Like, what did they do to those that made them feel like they were, like, nitro brewed? So they called it a salt air margarita. Yeah. I don't really know how they did this, but it basically came, obviously, normally I'm used to, like, a margarita on the rocks. This had no ice in it. It was just, like, a, an already cold uh, not like overly cold, but like just a, a nice, like slightly chilled, chilled beverage that came in a big pitcher and they poured it over, like just into all these glasses. But what, what really struck me is it tasted more like a limeade than it did like a really sweet, like margarita. Yes. And you could, you could taste the booze, but not like so, so forwardly so that you were like, Oh, this is like super strong or whatever. But I mean, I had like one and a half or two of them, and I was like, all right, like, I could I could feel it. Like, I yeah. thought it was plenty strong. And then the, the really, like, peculiar part about it was the, the foam that they add to it. So they've, like, rather than having salt on the rim, they add this, like, salty, like, foam that they've, like, created to the top of the drink. And it tastes exactly like it. Yeah, it, you, don't, you don't miss the actual salt. You're yeah. like, oh, this is, like, a salty drink. Yeah, but it was good. And do you, do you remember the name of the restaurant we were at? Yeah, so it's called Oyamel. Oyamel. O y a m e l. Oyamel. Um, and it's just about two blocks from Cap One Arena. So yeah, if you're ever in the DC uh, DC area, looking for some good eats, good food, good drinks, good yeah, vibes. That um that habanero like pumpkin seed spread. That was pretty good. That was really. I, I never would have thought to order that. Same. That was, yeah, it's more of a my dad type of thing. But yeah. Him being a vegetarian, he he's very uh, oh, okay. oh, really? adventurous a in a lot of those departments. If he sees something like that, shout out to yeah. Big Vogues too. I think we would be remiss if oh, we didn't give him a a, a shout out for treating us last night and you know hanging out with us before the game. And yeah, stuff, so hooked us up with some good tickets, some good food. It was a good time. Yeah. Always good seeing my dad. So I'm hoping by the time everyone's listening to this that we completed the event. No one was injured, harmed in the process <laughs> of this filming. Uh, <laughs> it's going to age really poorly if somebody yeah. has to like go to the hospital. You guys brought your leaf blowers, right? <laughs> yeah. Literally. So yeah. I got to put you on the spot. Cap plus 170, over under at seven. If you had to choose one of the two, what do you think you're taking for tonight? For leafs? For leafs, caps. Are they? Are the caps really plus 170? They're plus 170. Well, I'd she... take that before I touched the over under. Yeah. Just because I... like, I have no idea which way this one's going to yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> I might. I might. Uh... I might do Caps money line for a second night. Yeah. <laughs> I am slow. ready to get hurt yeah. again. <laughs> for those that don't know, when someone says might on this podcast, that means we'll do in 30 minutes. Yeah. And maybe not say a word about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And then like, and then 30 minutes later, after the 30 minutes, you go, did you do it? And he's like, yeah. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, How did about that. last night when the Caps were losing 3-2 and I just sneakily pull out my phone, <laughs> did a little thing, put it in my pocket, and then I announced to you guys, I was like <laughs> – uh, I just lied about the caps, and you both were like, "What? Why?" And then, like, literally, like thirty seconds later, they got scored they got on scored again. On. And I was like, "Shit! I should." And, and then my response to that was, "Shit! I should have waited until right now to do yeah. it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Harrison was like, "No, you shouldn't have done it at all. Stop. No. They're gonna yeah. lose. Yeah. There's like five minutes left." Yeah, there's like five minutes left of the third period of Max live betting the caps down by two. It's like what? Well, um, I did it down by one. Down by one. I should have done it down by two. Yeah. Except, no, I shouldn't have because they lost by three. Uh, I also just want to say big thank you to Don't Know Tavern for ho- Tavern for hosting us tonight. Uh, John, the owner of the bar, he's a great guy. Yep. This is the second year in a row that we've gotten to do this, so it's really exciting. 
Uh, we're doing it. At, I We don't know how this is going to turn out, but apparently there's a West Virginia football game the same time we're doing this watch party, and they're a West Virginia bar, so – which I'm hoping doesn't we can... make any sense to me, but okay. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure John went to Delaware, if yeah, I'm not why mistaken. Why are they a West Virginia bar? It's in Baltimore. I mean, I, I guess I, I guess some people also might be like, why are you hosting a Caps watching party at a Baltimore bar? But I, I mean, mean, that makes more so sense. That makes so. more sense. Yeah, I, f- I, I don't know. I mean, Morgantown, it's kind of what, four or five hours away? Something like that. I would say. Do yeah. people, like, are there are there a lot of West Virginia fans in oh, Baltimore? Yeah. I mean, those boners yeah. are just everywhere. That's no, true. I, yeah. I actually do think there's, like, a decent amount. Like, do you think there, how many West Virginia people do you think are going to be at the bar watching the football game, if you had to guess? I don't know, maybe 20? 15, and they're all above the 20? age of 40. Yeah, maybe okay. 20. I was going to say, yeah, that's probably more the vibe we're looking at. Yeah, but, uh, and also, as always, we don't have the ad reads in front of us, uh, but... Thank you to Brackish Life, obviously, for sponsoring this episode, as well as Kane Footwear, the comfiest footwear in the game. Uh, go check out the link in our social media bios to go purchase a pair that will help support us, and we appreciate it. I don't know if there's anything else really that I can think of that we want to chat about. Just wanted to hop on live for a little bit, get you guys something. Anything else? Last thing I got, what did you guys think about Ian Cole? now on the Chicago Blackhawks, hopping in with his old teammates from last year, the Colorado Avalanche, Wait, for the banner raising. You mean, you mean oh, Jack you, Johnson? Yes, sorry. Oh, Ian Cole's yeah. got the sexual allegations. Yeah, also. I was about to yeah. say, yeah. wait a minute. That's, <laughs> that's uh, right. Yeah, on the Tampa, you know, you're all good. I, I don't know. Like, obviously, people are like, oh, this is great to see. I don't mind it. It's Tummy just, sticks. Yeah, a little bit. I get he won a cup with them, but. He's like all in there, like hugging him, yeah. like in the middle. I'm like, and you're stand, about to play a game against him. Stand on the end, yeah. yeah. Fist bump, yeah. don't hu- like, yeah. you know, yeah. that's like, maybe, skate over there for the keep picture. it professional. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just was kind of. If I was like his teammates on the Hawks, I'd be like, do you, do you want them to win too, or like, like yeah, <laughs> yeah? Did you bet them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a little strange to me, honestly. But neither here nor there. Um, all right, I think we're about done here. A quick little one. Not too much to talk about at the moment. We're only two nights into the NHL action. but we I'm will... happy we're back, though. Damn, it yeah. feels good to have hockey back. Yeah. yeah, we'll be back at you guys next week. I think the episode will drop Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, so that'll be fun. Uh, and assuming that there's no like glitches or anything, um, our buddy Turk, who's been on the podcast before, Uh, He actually is hosting a daily Twitter live show called, I believe it's Icebox, uh, where he does daily uh, NHL betting tips and always has a guest on. Assuming nothing goes wrong, I will be on there tomorrow, uh, Friday, October 14th, and then I know that he is going to get Nick and Mac on the program as well. We've been chatting back and forth, so take a look at that. Uh, He's a great follow on Twitter if you are into sports betting, so that'll be fun. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm a little, a little nervous. Oh, you got this. Well, he's had he's had Elio on, and like whenever that happens, it it, it just kind of like escalates a little bit because he's yeah. he's on Barstool Sports Advisors. It's yeah. like that's that's big time. It so. is it's good time. company. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad company to be in for sure. But uh, thank you everybody for the love and support. And if you guys don't have anything else, I think we're uh, wrapping up here. Yep. I think I'm all set. One more thing. We saw a dog at the Capitals game Oh, last night. yeah. There was a dog at the rink. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I repeat, there was a dog at the rink. Yeah, like he literally had his own CD, had his own ticket. He was wearing a Caps jersey. His name was Chief. Uh, he has so, a business card. Yeah, yep. he had his own business card. So he'll be on the show here shortly. Yeah, uh, we're going to get him on soon. He's really busy right now, um, <laughs> but... We're going to work something out Maybe soon. he's got a bone or two to pick with the Cavs yeah, after how I'm they play. Sure he does. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Yeah. Man, um, that would be a treat to get him on. Oh, dog oh. humor. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's got to be another one. Um, I can't I can't believe what we're gonna gonna have to. It. We're going to keep him on a short leash. Oh. I've, heard, I've heard that. Uh, and as soon as the power play could stop chasing their tails. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Somebody stop us. Somebody stop us. <laughs> We keep going. Uh, oh, man. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll do uh, donkey. All right, everybody. We appreciate the love and support. This one's gone off the rails. Thank you, as always, for listening. It's good to be live with you guys. We'll see you tonight at Don't Know Tavern, and we'll be back next week without further ado. Class dismissed. <laughs>